All the world's a stage. And all the men and women, merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man, in his time, plays many parts. His act being seven ages. At first, the infant, yielding and puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy, with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. And then the lover, sighing like furnace, with a woeful ballad made to his mistress eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden, quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. Then the justice, in fair round belly, with good cape on lined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise swords and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloons, with spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrub shank, and his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble. Pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all. That ends this strange, eventful history. His second childishness and mere oblivion. Son's teeth, son's eyes, son's taste, son's everything.